Hello Libra and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading for October to November 2024 for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Libra. Let's see what we have for you as your first message. Two cards. Unfulfilled. You could have an emotional attachment to a job that's no longer serving you. Explore your wants and needs and consider a change. You're unhappy with your income, but too scared to make any changes. So we have unfulfilled energy there. With that, success will find you. Very clear words. Let's see what we have as an energy message. What do we have as an energy for the next couple of months for Libra, Angel Spirits, Guides, Money, Career, Finances only? We have number 28, Victory, bottom of the deck, I did look, so I'm going to say it, number 31, Daughter Value, there's a new beginning in terms of money, business, career. It's abundant, there's prosperity here. Let's have a look at, let's look at daughter value number 31. New beginnings in finance or career. This card shows a door with a gold coin on it, opening to, opening to a place that's filled with light and bright potential. Money coins and jewels fly toward you through the open door, revealing a golden city beyond. All of this points towards the potential for exciting new beginnings or expansions where work or money are concerned. Perhaps a new opportunity is totally unexpected or perhaps it's something you've been working towards for quite a while. Either way, keep your eyes open for this new beginning to appear in your life. Know that anything you value may be open to you now. Remain conscious and creative and get ready to step through the door. If you're competing for something, this is a very good sign if you're going to be you're going to win, you're going to be victorious or recognition in some way. Fortune card for Libra. Fortunes for Libra, money career finances. What do we have? Angel spirits guides. The fool number 12. Have the courage to embrace change. Take risks, be adventurous. The Fool is linked with brand new beginnings. Sometimes we have to take a leap of faith, take a chance. Libra, there is some work going on next door with the neighbours. I hope it doesn't interfere the reading too much. But there is a little bit of banking going on. But the microphone should hopefully not pick it up too much. Let's pull some tarot cards and see what we have for you. What do we have for our lovely Librans? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. The Four of Swords. It's come out reverse. This can be exhaustion, burnout. Stagnated. So let's see what we have. The Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. There we have the hopes, dreams and wishes, the Seven of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're doing some kind of, it feels like a life review, certainly money, career, finances. Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords. The Fool and the Three of Cups. It's a life review, Libra. The Nine of Pentacles is about getting what you deserve. It's, it's, it's one of the wealth cards of tarot. Reaping the fruits of your labor, what you put time and energy into, is what you, is what you get paid in terms of money, finances, recognition, value, respect accolades so the seven of pentacles is that sense if you've already put time and energy into a situation here but you're taking stock in terms of is this going to lead me to what i really want am i getting to where i want to be 
for a lot of you, it feels that sense of probably not. Um, because what you're putting time and energy into, you're questioning, is this going to really go to get me to where I want to be in terms of money, career, finances, recognition, reaping the fruits of your labor? Or do I need to make changes? Do I need to look at my options? Well, you do have some options here. The Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords. The the Nine of Swords is is stress, worry. It could be stress of work as well, certainly with the Four of Swords being reversed. Um, with the Eight of Swords, but not wanting to do something about it. Sometimes the fear of the unknown can be a factor here. Sometimes we can mentally, you know, make excuses to ourselves. Um, you know, all the reasons why we remain stuck. Uh, but we can, if we can, this person isn't actually stuck, they can take the blindfold off, they can wriggle out of those shackles which are very loose, the swords around them are not encaging them either. So this sometimes can be where we can be held hostage with our mind, our perspective, our thought patterns, our keeping us stuck in some way, because there is that sense of uncertainty should you move beyond a comfort zone in some way as well. But again, for a lot of you, it might also be a stress at work situation here. But I can't, I can't do anything about it for this reason or that reason. Sometimes, you know, we can really justify things to ourselves. But ultimately, the liberation with the fool is not just from your physical reality. It can also be from our perspective. And I feel that's what you're being kind of exploring here because the seven of cups is exploring options exploring pathways new pathways new hopes dreams and wishes spirit telling you that you have options here available to you but it means breaking free of some kind of comfort zone boundary also a, a limiting perspective and breaking free of that as well but I feel that there are people around you. The Three of Cups can be our community. This can be people who care about us, people who are with us through thick and thin. You know, the Three of Cups can be people who we have a really strong bond with. Uh, it, it can be our community, very powerful in terms of friendship circle, very powerful in terms of family, kindred spirits. You could have a very close um, friendships as well in terms of work as well. These, this is really likely people saying to you, you need to explore your options. You need to potentially liberate from a situation that doesn't serve you anymore. But sometimes we keep ourselves stuck for a number of reasons. But it might well be that something is becoming too much here, Libra. But you have to liberate from some kind of limiting pattern on, and perspective as well, thought pattern. And that's what I see for you here, because there is that sense of unfilled energy. And again, spirit telling you have the courage to embrace change, because that's where change will happen. If you are going to be the change, spirit is kind of telling you, you, you have options to explore here. There are new pathways to manifest. It's a very perfect time for that in the next month or two. This just feels like something has become too stressful. There could be an element of burnout here or exhaustion. Um, something that has become stagnant as well. But I definitely feel for you here, Libra. Spirit says there are options to explore. But it means liberating from limiting patterns. And welcoming the new. And the new will find you kind of energy. There are new hopes, dreams and wishes to manifest here. And that's what I feel that Spirit is telling you. Uh, whoever these Three of Cups people are, or a person, um, are likely very favourable in terms of helping you see that. Free will, but that's what I see for you here, Libra. There is a new beginning. I mean, Spirit's even going further here because there is a triumph here. There's a victory and Spirit wants to open a new door for you. There's a success here. If you do explore options, but it means taking a risk and breaking free of comfort zones, limiting patterns of our, our perspective, thought patterns, and so on and so forth, however that manifests for you. 
it's moving beyond a comfort zone but it looks like that's where the magic lies and certainly that's where prosperity lies for you and greater recognition abundance and success Let's pull you a guardian angel message. What do we have for Libra to finish off this reading? I think that there is something to do with perfect timing. Feels very powerful in terms of that. What do we have for Libra? Thank you. I'm going to choose from this deck because they tend to stick together. These cards. Peace. Calm your thoughts and move your awareness to a peaceful space inside your heart. Feel the ebb and flow of love, the eternal movement of the stars. Your life is forever unfolding to greater spheres of love. Relax and do not worry about anything for all is well. You will soon enter a time of well and peace and tranquility. Libra, that's what I have for you for the next month or two. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful October to November and I'll see you next time.